the vast majority of us are born innocent and innocent, powerless, and dependent, and dependent on what the world pours into us. So imagine this, before you're born, you're omnipotent. Your wish is your mom's, uh, you know, your wish is her command. Oh, I'm hungry, I don't have to cry. I need to be warm, oh, this is cozy. And, and you're just flipping around as a fetus, you know, you know, popping the remote control there, and then suddenly you pop out. And I, I have a feeling that one of the reasons we cry is we think, I'm totally powerless about everything. I mean, what the heck just happened? Yeah, you're glad I was born. I want to go back. But then what happens is we develop this dance where we're dependent on our parents and there's a term that used to be used a lot called good enough parenting. So you don't have to be a perfect parent, but good enough parent. So good enough parenting means, you know, if your child is six months old or in a crib and they're crying, you know, you may not have to go in within five or 10 minutes. And, and if it's time for them to learn to sleep through the night, you know, you may bite your nails and say, I'm going to, we're going to let them cry it out. And then they cry it out but they've developed enough independence to be able to manage it. But still, you know, for a long time, imagine that what you're being fed from the outside world is uh, either abuse or neglect. Or in this day and age, you're being overly indulged. And the problem with overly indulging kids is the world's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you overly indulge them a, a, that because you can't stand their being having any pain and you mm -hmm. rush in, well, that's okay when they're an infant. But when they're four or five and you rush in whenever they, uh, uh, there was a book called, I think, The Beauty of a Skin Knee. And it basically said, let your kids skin their knee. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. Let them learn to be able to deal with it.